all our activities are uh, focused on a human and to provide the conditions that are optimal for human. We started with uh, comfort uh, and well-being, you can say. Then we moved to health and specifically looking at the acute non-clinical symptoms called uh, sick building syndrome symptoms. In my eyes, um, uh, if we speak about indoor air quality, we speak mainly about the uh, contaminants or pollutants that are present indoors. We speak not only about the pollutants that can be produced indoors, but also the pollutants that can be brought indoors from outside. It can be inorganic and organic chemical compounds. <clears throat> that could be also particula particulate matter and biological pollutants, including, of course, uh, viruses, for example. Offices are usually sparsely occupied by people, so the pollutants from humans may not be um, major or dominant pollutants. There could be other pollutants that are related to, uh, let's say, building materials or the equipment and the uh, furnishing. In schools, major dominant pollutants will be probably uh, people because schools are densely occupied. If we go then to homes, then uh, probably our activities will define the types of pollutants that we um, are exposed to. For example, we cook at home, so there will be any pollutants associated with uh, cooking activities. We cannot define the pollutants uh, though. Uh, Yet we know that there are pollutants that cause uh, short-term effects, very often related as those sick building syndrome symptoms. With respect to chronic uh, effects, we have much less evidence on that. Uh, however, the evidence that exists would suggest the pollutants such as particulate matter, or ozone, radon, and so on, to be most dominant. However, there could be many more pollutants that cause chronic effects, but they are very difficult to identify. It has become much easier to perform measurements of some types of pollutants because of the um, availability and accessibility to the sensor systems. Those sensor systems allow us to measure carbon dioxide, um, temperature relative humidity, of course, also particulate matter also allow us to measure some organic pollutants. The most simple way is to avoid uh, pollution sources at the source where it's emitted. That is the most effective way. If this cannot be done, uh, the best way is basically to increase the ventilation with outdoor air. When you generate pollutants during cleaning, drying, cooking, make sure that you have an adequate and sufficient ventilation.